What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video today. It is time for yet another clutch job in an E36. Now it's not going to be my red one. It is going to be Jordan's white one that he just got. He paid $380 for the thing, but it does need a clutch. So we do have to pull out the transmission, place the clutch, put it back in there and probably replace like the slave cylinder and a bunch of shifter bushings along the way to get it hopefully running and driving how he needs to. I think he's wanting to make a drift car or a daily, one of the two. I'm going to kind of show you guys a little tips here and there, kind of what to do. And also, if you have any questions on how to do this to your E36, I've done this a few times, please leave a comment down below. I'll be able to respond to you and help you kind of work around a few things. Let's get to it. Step one, E36, transmission removal. This light is funky. There was a little weird cross member right here. Took that off. Now we're gonna go ahead and take the exhaust off the car. We're gonna first start by busting off these nuts on the header. And then that runs to this weird little bracket thing that connects to the, like the transmission. And then there's a hanger down there, I believe. And it's a little dark, you can still see it, these little clips here. There's one here and there's one on the other side that kind of pinches, pinches down on the muffler. Take that out and hopefully the exhaust should fall right out. Oh, what was that? that was scary. Got the exhaust off, went ahead and took out this heat shield. <laughs> there's a bunch of sand in it, but there's about four little 10 millimeter bolts. Now, what are we gonna do, the drive shaft? There are those 18s right there, so we're gonna go and buzz those off. Definitely a good time to look at the carrier bearing. It doesn't look too bad, so he might leave that in here. It does make it easier if you wanna take that off. And those four in the back, and just take the whole drive shaft out. It gives you more room to kind of work with the transmission in here. Drive shaft's out. Now it's time to disconnect the shifter linkage. This is definitely one of the funner parts. There's this weird little clip thingy right here on this edge. There's a bunch of goop on it, but you just pop that up, pull this little arm out. There's a little, there's a little clip you flick over back in the back of the train. I'll show it to you whenever it's out. It's kind of hard to see up here with all this junk and all this heat shielding that's falling down on it. Then you can start unbolting these, these bolts on the transmission. If you don't have some already, go ahead and get some, some e torques star bits, whatever you want to call them. These are at like AutoZone for like 12 bucks. These will definitely a uh, necessity for working on this car. Close. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> what? Don't do it that like that. Yeah, that throat bearing is. Oh my god. It's done. All right, to get the pilot bearing out, we've been working on it here for a while. Pretty much what we're doing is we're putting wet paper towels in there, stuffing it in there little by little, taking an extension and hammering it in. And kind of the idea behind it is that it's going to come around the side and push the pilot bearing out. It's almost out. We've kind of destroyed this extension, but hopefully uh, hopefully you can see that. Some people use soggy bread, but we're rolling with paper towels right now. It's almost out. It's so close, dude. It's seeping fluid. Hey, it's out. There it is. All right, we got the transmission out completely. Went ahead and cleaned it up a little bit. It is looking spick and span. Went ahead and did use a bunch of brake cleaning, cleaned out the inside as well. Took the clutch fork off and throw out bearing, throw out bearings in the trash. Now Jordan's gonna go ahead and press in his new bushings and some of the shifter arms. And then we can start throwing it all back together. He's running an eBay short shifter on this thing, but he's just using a normal stock clutch. He's gonna throw it back in this thing and uh, hopefully should be good to go. We ran into a little problem with the clutch. The clutch kit that he has came with the car and the pilot bearing, I think there's two different sizes for E36s, and it came with the wrong one, so we can't get the pilot bearing in, and obviously the rest of the transmission and the clutch. So, I'm gonna start scouring through the barn find that we have back here. It has a whole bunch of parts in it. I know there's a clutch in it and everything, so I'm gonna hopefully be able to find a pilot bearing in here for him, so we can get this thing, so we can get his rolling. See, like, there's a clutch here, but I don't know where all that crap is. So I put the throttle bearing in, the previous throw up bearing actually left a lot of scoring and stuff because of how melted and all sorts of fricked up it was. So I took some sandpaper and sanded it all down and then we just sat the new one in there and it slides pretty smooth so I think we're gonna go with that. Yeah, should be pretty good. It just kinda does one of those. Got the new slave on. Got the new pilot bearing in there. Make sure to lube the inside of that and just kinda give a nice little tap inside. Got the new flex plate and the clutch disc in. Torque these down to, well the flywheel is what, 77 foot pounds? And these are, what was it Jordan, 12, 13? About 13. Yeah, about 13, something like that. The way to hold the flywheel from spinning is go on the front and grab a 7, seven eighths wrench, put on the uh, crank shaft bolt here and hold that with maybe like a long extension so you can torque those down properly. Now it's time, take the tranny, shove it back in and start reassembling everything. Just finished up the clutch install, got it all buttoned up, the exhaust, drive shaft, everything back on the car looking good. Now we're gonna go ahead 
and bleed. Bleed the clutch. This slave right here, there's a little, I think it's like an eight millimeter. It's a good little wrench, bust it open. Pump the clutch, open it, let it kind of air and fluid shoot out. Close it, pump it a few more times, just repeat that process until it gets normal. And hopefully we can take this thing for a little test drive. Clutch is bled, let's go ahead, give it a start. He does have a fuel pump kind of wiring issue, so he kind of has to jump the relay under the engine bay. And uh, okay, you're closing it, driving it like that. Now what's that horrible noise? It sounds terrible. It sounds like a bell. Put it in reverse! Oh, wow, congrats. His, like his steering wheel like locks up or something. Oh, I've only tried reverse, I'm too scared. Why is it always dark when we film these things? Is it going gear? Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. Whoa. <laughs> no gear. Uh-uh. Huh. There are a lot of interesting sounds happening in this car. I think his transmission act might actually be done. We're not sure. But you can limit his house back tonight. Oh, we're sending it. Oh, a lot of noises. Are those the wheels? Probably rubbing you. That's not good. At least the clutch is in. Did it go to third? I'm not sure if I want to try it. Not tire stop. Yeah, tires are rubbing and it's smoking tires. It, oh, that's a smoke city back there. I don't know what that means, but it's my tire rubbing. That's it, oh, that's oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's a lot of smoke. Yeah, it was a lot of smoke. <laughs> Alrighty, well we successfully replaced the clutch. The clutch does work. Unfortunately, his transmission is bad. First gear is kind of iffy. Just throws it back out. But second through fifth work pretty well in reverse. So hopefully that helped you if you're replacing the clutch on your E36. If it did, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Helps more people find the video. Know what you think down in the comments below of the install. That's going to do it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.